Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mons tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be creating the last block required for our tree generation, which is going to be our leaves. So let's get started. Obviously we already have the leaves here, so we need to initialize them. Leaves equals new custom bot leaves. Then we're going to have to register them exactly like the planks and logs. So register block with variants, leaves, new item block variants, leaves, register renders, register render leaves i and leaves underscore plus custom block planks dot enum type dot values dot get name just a quick note from last episode if you want either the leaves or the log if you want more than four variants for the leaves or the log like minecraft does you're gonna have to create a second file or even a third file as with metadata it can only go up to 16 different variants. It leaves us two other different variables that affects it, which are the check decay and decayable. So four times two times two makes 16. If you would have a fifth variant, five times two times two will be too much, it'll be 20 and will be out of range. Log, we have four variants and four different um, facings. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16, anything more would cause an over override as well, it would be too large. Now obviously we need to create a custom bot leaves. I'm going to put it in dot init dot blocks dot trees. And once again we are going to need to create our thing, our uh, variant. So we're going to custom bot log and copy this. Oh, well that's a bit rubbish isn't it? save um, and paste it in there it will be exactly the same and obviously here this is the number of variants you have it can't be more than four if you have more than four you've got to create a different block now we're going to need the constructor custom bot leaves string name and set the unlocalized name register name and sound type then we're going to obviously need to set default state which we can copy from here and we need to make sure that this end block extends bot leaves Control shift do so we have the variant obviously and then another property dot with property check decay and this is boolean dot value of true oh, yeah. and then dot with property decayable and this is also a boolean dot value of true and put a semicolon on the end I need to add an extra bracket as well so it has three properties, which is um, variant, obviously. We have two variants. Check decay. This is a true or false. That's two as well. And decay. We're going to copy get subblocks. Obviously, it's the same. We can copy get silk to us drop and damage dropped and get a special name. We're going to have to implement I meta name. Of course, as normal, we're going to need get state from meta. We're going to return this. Dot get default state. Dot with property. Variant. Custom bot planks. Dot enum type. Dot by metadata. Meta percent and then the number of meta things you have. So I'm going to put two. Now get meta from state, int i is equal to custom block planks dot enum type, state dot get value variant dot get meta. So if open brackets three times, after the first bracket put an exclamation mark, and then after the third bracket put boolean, so we get value decayable, and then put dot boolean value. So we get the value decayable and set it as a boolean and get its boolean value. I is equal to two. Then if triple open again, exclamation mark, boolean state dot get value, check decay dot boolean value 
i is equal to 4. And return i. It also wants a few more leaf specific functions. So drop apple. We are just going to return as we don't want to drop apples. Get sapling drop chant. Just going to return. The default is 20. If you want it to be more common, put a higher number. If you want it to be rarer, put a lower number. I'm going to put 30 for mine. Next, get wood type. We are just going to return null as it wants the enum type referring to the block planks and we're not using block planks therefore we don't actually give a wood type wood type there we're going to need on shears a return a non list return non null list remove the item stack it gives us dot with size one new item stack this one world dot get block state at pause dot get value variant dot get meta and put a semicolon on the end so we create a list of what it gives us it's going to get the block that's sheared which is obviously going to be our leaves so it's going to get the leaf block as that's the only way of getting them in um with a leaf and we're going to get the variant that it has and give us the return the metadata. We are obviously going to have to create the block state, return a new block state container, this, and a new i property array of variant decayable and check decay. I've spelled decayable wrong there. And import i property with control shift to now. The final two functions we need are related to the seat since it leaves a see through. We are going to need is opaque cube, is opaque cube. It's not an opaque cube because it's not a full block, so return false. And then get block layer. We are going to return block render layer dot translucent as it has see through bits on it. And that is the whole entire leaf class done. Now, once again, we're going to need the models. They're obviously available in the description, or you can, or you can just copy me. So obviously, we're going to, we're going to copy the log and call it leaves. I'm going to go through and copy these but you can obviously copy me. I like to give an explanation and put a thing on the end. So we have four options for each. We're going to have check decay is true and decayable is true. Check decay is true and decayable is false. Check decay is false and decayable is true. And check decay is false and decayable is false. And that's all for one variant. However many variants you have, well obviously the maximum of four. You are going to require um, four different lines. This one obviously, they're exactly the same. Both true, one true, the other true, and both false. In lang, obviously you're going to add them as normal. And that's done. Then the block model. We can just copy planks as it's a basic block model. It's going to be a block cube. So, planks, aluminium change to leaves aluminium. And planks tutorial changes to leaves tutorial. And same in here. Except that it's not going to send block cue ball, it's going to send block leaves. So just put parent block leaves. And finally, all item models are the same. I already imported my textures, so I have leaves aluminium leaves tutorial here. You'll have to create your own textures as normal. We just need one texture for this, as it's all the same on all sides. Because of the missing model. Oh, I know why, because I have copied these from here. I'm going to need to change HM to TM, and that'll be my problem. If you've copied from me, you'll need to change that as well to make sure it's your mod ID. We can now look at our, in our tab and we have tutorial leaves and aluminium leaves. Placing them down, we have tutorial leaves and aluminium leaves. Obviously, you can have as many variants as you want. Only four in one class though, we've got to create a different class. 
If you want an example of having more than four variants, take a look at the Minecraft code. They have five, uh, they have six actually, six different wood types where they use two different classes. So you can look in block new log to see how they look for metadata and variants. If you have enjoyed this video or find it useful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. In the next video, we will actually be going to create our sapling, though it will not actually spawn as we're going to do in tree generation in the episode after that. So if you're excited for that, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.